Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to data structure class. Today I am going to explain the second chapter uh, of the second model. Uh, recursion. A recursion is a function uh, that calls itself several times during execution. It can be divided into two parts. The one is direct recursion and the one is indirect recursion. Uh, in the direct recursion, uh, the function that invokes itself, as I have given in the example here, uh, and inside the uh, one function, I am calling the same function that calls repeatedly until all the values of that iteration get completes. Similarly, in the indirect recursion, one function calls another function. Similarly, second function calls third function. Continuously at the end, the last function calls the first function. Uh, like here, uh, in the first f1 function, we call f2, f2 function, we call f3 function. At the end, f3 will call the first function. It is called as indirect recursion. Then, an example for uh, the recursion is, look at here, the first one, uh, finding the factorial of a given number. Uh, here I have taken n equal to 3. I want to get the answer for 3 factorial. So, how it will be iterated? If I given 3 factorial, it, be, it will be of converted into 3 into 2. Then, uh, the same function called again 2 factor 2 into 1 until it reaches to 0. Whenever it, whenever it reaches to 0, it becomes uh, 0 factorial equal to 1 that is 0 is n here if n equal to 0 return 1 then if this is n then it is n into 2 is n minus 1 for that we have done the function like uh, int factorial int n here n will be a 3 and that we are asking in the main function if n equal to 0 return 1 that is 0 factorial we got the answer 1 then return uh, n into fact of n minus 1. So, if 3 is there, uh, it becomes 3 into uh, 3 minus 1, 3 into 2. Okay, we get the answer 6. Then next will be again the value will get which is to the next value. So, repeatedly it calls the same function. Then in the uh, main function, we are calling that factorial function that will be assigned to RAS variable. At the end, print of percentage d that is uh, the factorial of n is obtained in the result variable we displayed here by using percentage d percentage d uh, n for number of uh, what is the which value are required for factorial here i am asking for 3 so n will be 3 here result will be obtained at the end will be stored in result that will be displayed then sum of natural numbers in the natural number uh, if i have taken 3 the next will be of n minus 1 then similarly, the function will be called uh, repeatedly until it reaches to 0. Okay. So, uh, f of 3 equal to 3 plus f of 2, the previous uh, next function. You can say the indirect recursion. Then f2 will call the f1. Then f1 will call then f0. Like uh, it reaches to 0. And we can represent this entire uh, equation into in terms of a single equation like f of n equal to 0 if n equal to minus 1 0 if n is minus 1 else uh, n plus f of n minus 1 okay the same thing written in the function then uh, if you for finding the sum of natural number if you want to get sum of array elements mean the same function represented by making use of array so i am following plot uh, a of the array size for storing the array elements then how many elements I am going to uh, use for adding the elements that is n here. Then similarly if n equal to minus 1 return 0 then return a of n plus f of a n minus 1. The same function uh, represented with the array. Okay. Then uh, next function is an important one uh, tower of Hanoi. In this uh, I am making use of uh, three pole. Uh, to transfer uh, these three disks from first pole to third pole okay uh, the pole 2 will be considered as an uh, temporary pole or you can say intermediate pole for uh, helping to transfer all the disks from the pole 1 to the pole 3 
what are the condition the conditions are to transfer these all the disk from the pole 1 to pole 3 pole 3 is first uh, only one disk is moved at a time from one pole to another pole it means that uh, i can't directly shift uh, two or more uh, disk from pole 1 to pole 3 so each time i have to transfer only one disk from one pole to another pole second condition smaller disk is on top of larger disk at any time so every time uh, the smaller should be at top than the larger one so smaller should be always on the top then third condition only one can be only one pole can be used for the storing intermediate disk so each time uh, intermediate disk can store only one disk okay so i can't take directly two uh, from the pole one and store to the pole two no it is not possible so each time never i took uh, take the disk from the intermediate pole i have to take only one disk okay so uh, total how many steps will be obtained just look at here initially i am going to transfer the smallest pole, uh, disk from pole one to pole three then in the next step uh, this second disk will be transferred to the temporary from here then third one uh, uh, i am uh, copy that uh, smallest uh, disk from the pole three to pole two then similarly the next time that uh, first uh, disk from the uh, largest disk from the pole one uh, sent to the pole three similarly you go for the now we uh, that uh, smallest disk will be copied back to the source one that is the pole one then we got these three then we can transfer the intermediate to second intermediate uh, disk to the last pole then uh, the smaller disk to the last one so at the end we got uh, all the disk from the pole one is uh, transferred to pole three so we can divide the entire tower of hanoi example into these three are the main important steps that is first is the first is the given one second is the uh, intermediate step and last one is the final answer so how to do this one for that for that initially uh, if these are the n number of blocks n means i am taking 3 is the n here so initially i have to transfer n minus 1 n minus 1 means 2 2 are to be transferred to where the pole 2 just look at here uh, these two uh, these two will be transferred to pole 2 then third step uh, what uh, in the next step what i am doing i am transferring this first uh, um, disk from the first pole will be transferred to the pole 3 that is second step it is second step then at the end these will be considered the n minus 1 this n minus disk will be transferred to the third pole like here so total three steps will be followed what is the first step first step is that moving n minus 1 disk from the pole 1 uh, if i am taking 3 n is 3 then 3 minus 1 is these two two uh, disk will be transferred from pole 1 to the intermediate pole that is uh, pole 2 you can say temporary temporary pole second step moving uh, n disk that is the third disk from pole 1 to pole 3 here we got the second step third step moving n minus 1 disk from the intermediate or temporary pole to the pole 3 that is final one destination so this becomes the final third step then uh, how to represent by making use of uh, coding is that let's look at here uh, here n indicates number of disk s indicates uh, source pole t indicates temporary pole d indicates destination pole here are taken pole 1 pole 2 or pole 3 or you can say pole a pole b pole c then uh, i am using a function called uh, wide transfer i am not returning any value for that sake i am taking wide here transfer uh, number of uh, disk here it is uh, not i only character character source character uh, temporary character destination so first step if no disk is there then by default we returning we return the values okay you can return zero or you can one then in second case when there are some disk in this example i have taken three disk what is the first step i have taken moving the disk from uh, pole one to moving n minus one disk from pole one to pole two pole two here temporary so moving uh, disk n minus one disk from uh, source to temporary 
transfer n minus 1. So always the first argument will be the source, the last will be the uh, destination and middle one will be the temporary. So now for this case, uh, source will be the pole 1, destination is the temporary and uh, middle is the middle is the pole 3. For that sake I am taking n, n minus 1 where I am transferring from uh, source to temporary. So this become destination now. Source to n minus 1 will be moved from source to uh, temporary via what? Via the pole 3 that is destination. Similarly, second one whatever the uh, disk that is n disk available from the pole 1 to be transferred to where? Pole 3. So this disk to be transformed to where? Pole 3. So here we got that one. So move the disk from mm, move the disk from pole 1 to pole 3. So print f move disk percentage d from percentage t c to percentage c. That is n will be there from where to where uh, source to destination. We move from source to destination. Okay. What is that disk number? This number is n. Because previous one n minus 1 is transferred to temporary. Then the last one what is left? Last this n minus 1 this will be transferred to uh, pole 3. Here we got the answer. So from here to where? Temporary to destination. So temporary to destination. Middle one is source. Okay. This is how the tower of 9 program works. Now uh, represent these steps in the main function. So in the main func function, enter number of disk. I am going to enter uh, this example. I have taken three, so three will be taken. Then we call that function tower and uh, a number of uh, disk source temporary destination. Then if n equal to zero, return. Then write those three uh, steps here. That completes the tower of an I program. Then Ackermann function. This Ackermann function it indicates that. Uh, and it completely works on these three cases. If m equal to 0, return n plus 1. If n equal to 0, return a of m minus 1, comma 1. If uh, it is not equal to, m is not equal to 0, n is not equal to 0, that time we make use of third case. Okay. For that, I have taken one example here. a of uh, 0, comma, a of 1, comma 1. For example, a is 1 here, b equal to a is 1. Uh, a of 1 comma 2, m equal to 1, n equal to 2. So m is dependent here 1, n is 2. So it matches with which case? It matches with m is not equal to 0, n is not equal to 0, it matches with case 3. So in the case 3, how to write? A of m minus 1, then uh, a comma m comma m comma n minus 1. So replace here. Mm, m minus 1 is 1 minus 1, 0. Then a of uh, m comma n minus 1 m is 1 n minus 1 is 1 so this one be case 3 then similarly this becomes uh, uh, you consider this as the input now a of 1 comma 1 matches with the case 3 okay case 3 again uh, we got a of 1 comma 0 m minus 1 is uh, matches with the case 2 now uh, we have been represented with uh, case are represented here at the end we got the answer 4 ok then uh, to represent that entire program again we write the case here we call the result variable uh, we, and we got the answer from the function which I am calling for Ackermann ok a of percentage d percentage d means a of m comma n is where it is available it is available in per, uh, result so per, is equal to percentage d is result that will be obtained from this function ok so uh, again just go through it uh, solve a few more example by using uh, like uh, you can take an example of finding a of 3 comma 4 where m is 3 n is 4 ok solve it recursively you get the answer uh, for 1 comma 2 we get the answer 4 ok Thank you. This completes the recursion chapter. In the next video, I am going to uh, explain uh, queues. Okay. So, before interaction class, go through it. Thank you.